Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about moving averages, which is a method to extract the trend cycle component from our time series. And the very first thing that we do to extract various components from a time series is uh, we use uh, a moving average method to estimate uh, the trend cycle component of our time series. And uh, we use uh, this method to eliminate some of the randomness from uh, a time series and to get a smoother series. Here is an example of uh, a moving average and how moving average uh, smooths out a time series. So these are the number of uh, COVID cases in the US and uh, this blue line represents uh, 7 days uh, moving average. Now counties and states report these uh, cases and some days they may report more cases and during other days they may report less than the actual number of cases and the next day they will include the number of cases from the previous days and hence the number of cases during some days will be larger than uh, the number of cases uh, during other days. To avoid this reporting error, we pay more attention on uh, the 7 day average which gives us more idea about uh, the trajectory of uh, these cases and we see recently the number of uh, cases are dropping and that is we know that the 7 day moving average is dropping so we can conclude that uh, this drop is not due to the reporting uh, error rather actually the number of COVID cases are dropping uh, in the US. So this is one rationale for uh, using uh, moving averages to get a smoother series as compared with uh, a series with the uh, randomness in it okay so to extract a trend component what we do is we calculate the moving average of order m and the formula to calculate the trend cycle at time t a moving average is obtained by averaging values of a time series within k time periods for example k could be 2 so here we will be calculating a moving average of order 5 and we'll be including uh, two lags and uh, two leads uh, of a variable yt. So here is more intuition behind uh, calculating moving averages. So these could be five values of a time series and these could be the first five values y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5. What we are doing here is to calculate a moving average of uh, order 5. We are including uh, two lags and two leads of a variable at time y3 and we are adding these five values and dividing it by five to get the average value during uh, this period of time and then we are saying that uh, the value of y3 is equal to this average so this is uh, a way of uh, calculating a uh, moving average of order five okay so this is uh, table 6.1 of uh, your book and here we have data from 1989 to 2008 and we are interested in calculating moving average of uh, order 5 and uh, these are our values so what we will do is we're gonna start with the year 1991 and we're gonna include two lags and two leads and we're gonna add all these values and divide it by 5 to get uh, this value so this value is the average value during these five years so that is the first value in the next step we are going to drop the first value we're gonna start with the second value and add the sixth value in the series and again we are going to calculate the average value during these five years and place the value here and then we are going to start with the third value and we are going to add this value for 1995 and calculate the average value and we are going to keep repeating this process until we reach at the end of the series and calculate the average value here so now these values are called five year moving averages note that we do not have a moving average for the first two values and uh, the last two values because we do not have enough information or enough values to calculate five year moving average during this period of time so this is the way of calculating uh, moving averages and uh, smooth out our series and extract the trend cycle component from a time series now in R you don't have to manually calculate it all you do is uh, 
you pass your time series data and uh, the order of uh, the moving average that you want to calculate and uh, R will calculate these values for you. The first argument is going to be your time series and the second argument is going to be the order of the moving average that you want to calculate. In this case the order was 5 so I passed 5 and R will calculate all these values for you. Similarly you can pass uh, uh, 3 or 7 or any number. So this is the way of calculating uh, moving averages to extract a trend cycle component and get a smoother series from a time series. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.